Hi Scorpio, it's Elle here to do your February 2018 reading. It's a general reading, so it won't resonate with everyone. If it does resonate with you, please like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. Uh, I do shuffle and pray over the cards off camera. Let's give the cards a quick shuffle and then we'll get started. Okay. I hope that everyone's uh, February has started off really good. I hope that everyone has a happy Valentine's Day. We'll leave. Um, I'll save the comments till the end. Okay. All right. Scorpio, that other woman, that other man is showing up. Okay. Nice. And at the bottom of the deck is judgment. Yep. Okay. I feel like this is for my Scorpio man. My Scorpio man. You're in a third party situation. Of course, in the past, you was you were grieving it because I feel like you tried to reenact. Not reenact, but reactivate. The relationship that you were already you were already in or you already in but you just really don't want to be there um you want to be somewhere else either you want to be single or you or you just want to be yeah single and able to talk to whomever and be with whomever or there is a significant person who you like to spend your time with he or she is showing right up, smack dab in the middle, uh, in the present energy, the empress. Uh, like I said, I'm talking to my, I feel like I'm talking to my Scorpio men. This could go for some of my Scorpio women too. Uh, you may be in a relationship where you, you want to be somewhere else. You want to lay down the burden. The Ten of Wands is here. Offer something solid and stable. You've already planted seeds elsewhere. And you're just waiting for the opportunity to move forward in that. The Three of Cups is here. You're dating. You have two other, you have two people. In the past, you were, like I said, you were grieving that the third party situation because you tried to let it go. But then you came right back to it because you think very highly, very fondly of this person, man or woman, Scorpio. Um, the near future is the emperor and the six of cups. So you may feel like this person is a soulmate. You need to get in control of the situation completely and utterly. You may be a father and your situation involves children in which it, it, it keeps you stuck and stagnant. You don't know what to do or where to go in this situation. You, your power, you're trying, you're holding on to secrets. You know, you're holding on to secrets. You're doing stuff in secret. And you're also trying to listen to your intuition. Listen to your higher self. What what should I do? What's external to you, external to you is uh, the Ace of Pentacles. So there's a new foundational start elsewhere. Not where you are. Well, this could be in business, love, home. This is an engagement. Uh, this is a uh, new job, new car, new home, big purchase. Just a foundational start. Something you can build upon. With the Seven of Pentacles. And then the Eight of Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles and hopes and fears. You hope to just. Continue to plow away. At work. 
and not think about I'm here and not think about this situation and not make the decision that you need to make which is cowardly but um or you're hoping to put the work in elsewhere but I really feel like it's the first situation that I just described the outcome is the knight of swords so an immature but well-meaning air sign a gemini leaver aquarius someone is confrontational because you need to make a decision a final decision judgment is here the universe is saying be final in what you want to do because like i said in the recent past i feel like you tried to leave the third party alone but you just couldn't so now the universe says make the decision what are you really going to do i'm going to leave that there for you let's pull a few cards all right okay what is the ace of pentacles what is the ace of pentacles what is the ace of pentacles oh wow then i felt like it the two of cups yeah you got love elsewhere this is external to you wow and then you have a rapid communication about it the arrows of love back and forth wow what is the empress these came out i'm gonna put them back in if they come back out again then it's meant to be what is the empress the page of pentacles yeah you want you the messages of wanting to invest elsewhere having already invested elsewhere with the seven of pentacles and the knight of pentacles the messages then the offer then already having invested this you might scorpio man might even have someone else pregnant um right cutting something else out because right now you are the dishonest unfaithful spouse you don't even have to be married you could be in something like a marriage you there's emotional confusion here surrounding this woman or man for my scorpios broken promises here too in the relationship you're already in i was gonna do okay yeah you trying to listen to self but there's so much inner conflict because i feel like children are involved in this relationship what is the knight of swords who is the knight of swords who is the knight of swords please can you tell us who is the knight of swords someone who is defensive Ooh, seven of wands they ain't playing they tired Queen of Pentacles. You know, they're coming from a solid place. Um, yeah, they're coming from a solid place with the Queen of Pentacles. They're very motherly. They could be a good wife. The King of Pentacles. Wow, this is a marriage or relationship, long-term relationship. Someone's very defensive about how you're going about things. Scorpio, six of swords. They may be moving away from the relationship, or you are. Two of, two of pentacles, you're weighing up the decision to move away. This is a love affair. Somebody's getting more attention than the other. And there's a new passionate start, either for self or somewhere else. Three of wands. This is my choosing myself card. Wow, the star. Uh, an Aquarius you could be dealing with an Aquarius that Knight of Swords or you could yeah dealing with Aquarius they may be walking away from you five of swords you may be having a lot of conflict surrounding them the Queen of Wands six of six of Wands the world the chariot yeah a cycles ended here a cycles ended here uh and you might be just moving forward effortlessly in victory by yourself, walking away from a relationship, taking a break from a marriage, having new love or friendship, Knight of Cups, offering your cup, King of Cups, there's you, Scorpio. Being the fool could be to an Aries. We've got the Emperor here getting truth and clarity and choosing a new path. Wow. Okay, so that's it. Scorpio, just be honest. 
be upright and forthcoming in all your doings because you want your karma to be good, clear, uh, and you just want to be upstanding. Memories, yeah, memories is here for some of you. Some of you are having memories of uh, family changes. Somebody's pregnant, uh, changes in the family due to the fact that you're trying to get somewhere else. You have the memories of the good times uh, with the current partner, but at the same time, things are changing and then moving. You could be physically moving, like moving home with the chariot here and the eight of cups, six of swords, moving cards. You could be moving out of a home and this would definitely be family changes. Uh, someone's leaving the home or the partner you're with is leaving the home due to the fact that you can't get it together with this third party. Or you could be leaving. Anyhow, Scorpio, somebody's leaving. Y'all let me know. Get in the comments. If this resonated with you, please like, like, like. Click that like button. Share it. Subscribe to the channel. I'm going to do a Valentine's Day reading for all the signs. That should be fun and interesting and just give you a little bit more clarity as to what's going on. Uh, thank you for tuning in. Um, if you feel like you want to request a personal reading, please email email me at tarotofl at gmail.com. All, 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 A-L-L -L information is below. All information is below. To get in contact with me, to follow me on social media, Instagram handles are below. Instago, uh, hit me up there for a question or two. Uh, I can get back to you. Go fund me. Fund the page. Send a dollar. We can get more cards. All, all um, donations go back into the uh, the channel. Look what I got for my birthday. This, this nice box where I hold my the tree of life where I hold my um, my cards. And um, I got that for my birthday. So that was pretty cool. Uh, I got some new cards too. Uh, so anyhow, you know, just whatever you're feeling moved to do, you know, it's all, it's all good. Believe me. Okay. So remember Scorpio, when in doubt, pray, I'm praying for you. Pray for me as well. Let's all make this channel positive, positivity. If you don't have anything positive to say, keep it to yourself. We don't want to hear it. I think I speak for everybody. Uh, when I say we don't want to read it, we ain't got time for that. Anyway, moving right along. Uh, happy Valentine's Day. Take care. I'll see you in March. All right. Bye.